It's no secret that Topher Carton has never lost a high school wrestling match. He's also not at a loss for words when it comes to his ultimate goal, winning his fourth straight state championship and doing it not only decisively, but with domination. Excellence isn't isn't perfection. It, it's not a uh, it's not winning every match, but winning every match with total domination. Um, I try to go out every match. I mean, like it's my last. That's what I've been doing my entire career. And uh, especially this year, I'm I'm trying to trying to make a statement with my senior year and really go out and and uh, sort of prepare myself for the next level. A lot of wrestlers that are as good as him don't have balance. They seem to be over the top in the wrestling area. Topher is a gentleman off the mat. He's an animal on the mat, and um, he plays within the rules. He's been brought up knowing to play within the rules, and he's taken it to heart. And uh, it's been a great experience being around him and learning from him. And there's not too many times where I'm not pointing to Topher for the right things to do. The future Iowa Hawkeye brings much more than a bunch of points to the big board for the Assumption Knights. All that ability, all that know-how, and all that experience certainly adds up for Pete Bush. He considers him an extension of the coaching staff. He gives off so much energy to everybody else, and it's kind of funny because I've been asked before, you know, what is Topher Carton? What have you done for Topher Carton? And candidly, he's done a heck of a lot more for our program, just being himself on and off the mat. He's just a class individual. I just wish some of these kids on the on our team would be able to see that. I think they do, but uh, boy, he's a walking uh, great example of what kids should be aspiring to. You pull this off, get four in a row. I mean, your name's going to be in the same sentence as uh, some pretty cool guys, you know, including Dan Gable. Yeah. How does that speak to you? Um, well, I mean, Dan Gable and Eric Jurgens and I mean, all, all those guys, even uh, Danny Knight, they're all incredible wrestlers. And to be even be even mentioned in the same sentence, I mean, it's any wrestler's dream, but it's uh, I try I try to focus on just just each season as its own and try not to think about that. But it is it is a little off striking. You know, you're going to be in a wrestling room next year and for three years after that with a bunch of hammers. You know, is that something that really excites you to get stretched in different ways? Yeah. It it does excite me and it, it motivates me. I mean, I I try to watch a lot of video and try to study. I'm trying to become a, a real student of the sport and. Um, I, uh, I came across one of uh, one of Tom Brand's interviews because I mean he's going to be one of my coaches, and he said uh, it's not about how good of a wrestler you are now, but it's about how hard you're willing to work and how hard you can imagine somebody that's trying to rip your head off. If you can imagine that, you're going to get to work pretty darn quick. He motivates me as a coach because of the lifestyle he's 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 had for himself and what I've witnessed. And uh, his parents, I can't say enough about what a great job they've done. And it all honestly, it all comes back to uh, you know believing in Jesus Christ and everything that uh, that he has to offer you know and it's been a, it's been a, it's been a nice ride with uh, Topher and hopefully it's not over uh, hopefully hopefully I'll be able to see him get a fourth state championship and then go on to Iowa and do great things I really like that it, it motivates me and kind of kind of lifts a little pressure off my shoulders I know that uh, God's watching over me and make sure I don't get hurt and make sure I can perform the best of my abilities